Hi hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Carrier Deck. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about 10 bucks. It's important to note that I just got my press copy, so this is going to be a first impressions video, and I'll be learning as I play the game today. Here's a look at the main menu, Campaign, Survival, Quick Game, and Settings. Under Settings, under Game, we've got Reset Campaign Progress. Under Video, Quality Level, I'm going to go ahead and put that maybe to Simple. Uh, screen resolution 1920 by 1080 toggle full screen and then you've got some other options here like ambient occlusion bloom anti-aliasing and reflections and then audio sound and music i've got the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues all right let's go ahead and give this a whirl i'm assuming we want to start with the campaign before we jump into anything else i'm guessing survival is how long can you last and then quick game just might be I don't know what that is. Uh, well, well, let's figure out what the campaign's all about first, then we'll... Okay, 0 out of 170 stars. I'm assuming that we'll be taking on a variety of missions. Usually when I see stars like this, usually it's a 1, 2, or 3 star rating that you get, and then um, it depends on how well you do in that mission, and that's how many stars you get. But again, I'm just... Okay, so it's out of 5 stars. All right. Basic training. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Welcome aboard, Commander. The crew is ready and waiting for you to take us through the military training exercises. First things first, let's get our aircraft fueled. Click and hold your cursor over the aircraft to show the action menu. Click the refuel button, which is the purple one. All right. I can zoom in too with the... Okay, so a and w moves back and forth i can't use w or s to move up or down but i can zoom with the mouse wheel okay there's a progress circle here great the aircraft is ready to go select it and move it to one of the four catapults uh how do i move it though just left click okay so left click left click we are ready to launch the aircraft. Select it and then click on the arrows that appear in front of it. Whoosh. This is the launch box. All missions have to be queued before launch and then launched in the order they appear in the queue. Okay. A mission can be removed from the launch box queue by selecting the mission and then aborting it. This is the radar display used to track all your aircraft as well as all enemy threats. This is interesting. So this is going to be, I think, a plane management game of sorts where I'm going to have to send out planes across all four of these colors, maybe? This is the landing box where all of your aircraft appear when coming into land. The top half is for mi fixed wing aircraft and the bottom is for vertical takeoff. Like I know what that is. Vertical is obviously up and down. All right. The aircraft has reached the landing queue and needs to be cleared for landing. The aircraft will land automatically when it reaches the end of the queue, but you can land it before that. Click on the aircraft and then click on the moving arrows on the runway to land it. All missions completed. It's also camera controls. Uh, uh, danger, Will Robinson! Okay, A and D, got it. Why is that sound? Maybe it was in the way? I don't know. So there's a free camera. Oh, that's the, okay, so I can use the right mouse button when I click that. Land and launch. So I guess free camera is what I want. Complete level. 
air guitar riff. All right. Continue. So far, so good. I made a plane take off and made one land. That makes me part of the Navy already. Look at me go. I'd qualify, right? The radar area, or the radar array on the carrier has limited range, so early warning and detection missions need to be launched to search for threats in the air, on the surface and under the water. The earlier the threats are detected, the more time you will have to intercept and destroy them. Let's send out an air search. Okay, so let's click on that. A mission request appears in the launch box. Click on the flashing aircraft icon. Aircraft have either short, medium, or long-range radars. When you're selecting an aircraft for a search mission, the range of the radar will be indicated. Once you have decided on the aircraft, click on the Q button to confirm the mission. Well, why not do the long one all the time? The mission is now confirmed, and the crew now needs to load an aircraft to complete the mission. Select an aircraft corresponding to the type selected in the mission order, which I'm guessing is this. Uh, once this is completed, the aircraft will turn red. Okay, Q. I'm not sure if we did that right. Both of these are red. All right, so where's the aircraft at? Is this it over here? Is that what this is? It looks different because, okay, so I need to fuel it, right? I think I just assigned one of these other ones to radar duty as well. I think that's what that was all about. All right, so we're going to launch it. Go for launch. Go for launch. Go for... Crying out loud. Maybe I need this one? <laughs> Go for launch. Oh. Well, that's not working. All right. Um, free camera for a minute. So what am I doing wrong here? I mean, I think I have it on the right runway, right? It looks like this. Is there something else I'm missing? Select an aircraft corresponding to the type, which is this. Open the aircraft action menu and select air load. Oh, did I not do that? Cancel. All right, let's move it back over here then. I think I've done that. Oh, everything's... Why is everything queuing up? I'm not sure how this queue system works. Let's, let's cancel everything. Okay. So this is fueled. We click on the aircraft. Red. That one. Okay. Q. Alright. So... Red, green, I don't know what that means, but okay. So, all right, I'm a little confused. Select an aircraft corresponding type. I did that. This looks like this, right? Unless I've got the wrong one. Open the aircraft action menu and select the aircraft loadout. This one? Oh, it says red air. Okay, so there's a, a red air there. Okay, all right. So maybe I had the wrong loadout. I thought I had to fuel it first and then launch it. All right, now let's see if it works. But what about the fuel? Why don't I have to fuel the ones in the previous mission, but not this one? There we go.
The aircraft has now commenced with the search mission. The radar detection range is increased and remains that way until the aircraft lands and the search mission ends. Enemy threats always appear from the right-hand side of the radar display. Now let's send a sub research or search mission. Click on the yellow radar, okay? So I guess this one. Q. Okay, so okay, so I need to do the sub loadout, which is yellow. Okay, so each craft has different actions or loadouts from the looks of it. Maybe, I mean, maybe the refuel loadout is, I mean, it's, I'm still confused by the different loadouts. Like, there's a refuel one here, but why is there an air one? Like, what's the difference? I mean, does this come with fuel and something else? Like, maybe extra radar? I don't know. Like, I, I'm, wouldn't you have to fuel anything anyway in order for it to go? All right, well, anyway, let's, let's send it on its way. There we go. Hold down space to accelerate time. Okay. Tutorial complete. Party on, Wayne. Continue. All right, so we got five stars on that one, even though I messed up a little bit. Three. Cargo mission. Ooh. Now we're getting serious. There are two helicopters inbound to landing. One is carrying cargo and the other is damaged. Proceed to land them both. Oops. Not what I want. How do I cancel this? I gotta wait for them to, to land, right? Fast forward. There we go. That's one. All right, select the helicopter with the cargo icon and move it to either of the two unloading bays. Is that this here? No. Oh, right here. This is this is a loading bay, I guess. Helicopter's cargo has been unloaded and the vehicle will now automatically make its way to the bay to collect the cargo. Ah, that's what this is. All right. This thing needs repaired, though. I'm assuming there's a repair bay somewhere. Alright, fast forward time. The cargo helicopter is automatically refueled and an outbound mission created in the launch box. The cargo tractor will wait on the elevator to take the cargo down to the hangar deck. Click on the elevator button to send the elevator down. Ah. Click on the conning tower to change the view to see the hangar deck. Oh. Interesting. To complete the cargo mission, you'll need to launch the cargo helicopter off the carrier. Cargo aircraft are automatically refueled and ready for launch. Select and move it to any of the heli bays to launch it. What is it? Okay, so now what? All right, so I'm supposed to launch this thing. All right, now to attend to the damaged helicopter. Select it to an elevator and then move it down. All right. So I guess the repairs are done under, under the deck here. Select and move the helicopter to any flashing... Ah. Right here. I mean, why not? So this is a parking bay. Hawk 370, mission prep. Once fully repaired, select and move the helicopter to an elevator and take it up to the flight deck. Refuel it and launch it to complete the mission. All right, up we go. Hawk 370, good to go. 
launch when ready. Is I supposed to set orders? Purple. Ah. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to refuel it. All right. Fast forward time. There we go. Now we go. Keep your fleet maintained is of utmost importance. A damaged aircraft is more likely to malfunction when launching or landing. Tutorial complete. Petty Officer Third Class, that's right. Petty Officer First Class, Dad's Gaming Addiction. Enemy attack, so oh, now things are getting interesting. Hostile aircraft detected. Oh, goody. Is that what these are here? Oh, on the right-hand side, red. An enemy aircraft has been detected. We need to launch a mission to intercept it before it comes within striking distance of the carrier. Click on the enemy aircraft that has been detected in the air channel. Then click the Q button and the launch button to confirm the mission. Select an aircraft that corresponds... Okay, so I'm guessing it's this one. Load it for air. Okay, off we go. Good to go. Your aircraft is now en route to the intercept the enemy threat. The enemy threat is destroyed once the intercept aircraft reaches it. So we always win battles? That's interesting. That's convenient too. Boom! Enemy surface ships and submarines also attack the carrier, so it's advisable to keep search missions airborne in each of the channels of the radar. So I guess yellow is under, like, submarines and stuff, and blue is sea, red is air? Okay, well, let's... All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so we're getting helicopter prepped using the sub loadout. And we're going to launch it. There we go. Hello? So what, I have to do another one? It's not going to be ready in time. Oh, okay, we got it, I think. An enemy warship has been detected. We need to launch a mission to intercept it before it comes within striking distance of the carrier. Whenever an enemy target requires three or more aircraft to intercept, it needs to be preceded by an electronic warfare mission. Click on the enemy warship and you will notice two missions appear in the launch box. Okay. In the future, you can cycle through both aircraft. Okay, so I need to do... So it's this one? So I need to use that one for that and then this one for blue. So F-18s can do the, the, the IWA missions. Okay, here. Alright, you're ready. Yellow one first, and then blue one. No? Um, what the heck's going on? I thought I... I thought I did it for yellow. Or... 
Okay, relax yourself. Yeah. Not sure why it was purple. Could have sworn I did the light blue. And it's still not working. Click. Okay. So, I, okay. Well, yeah. I. Alright, I'm a little confused. <laughs> this is queued up. It's ready. How come it's not going anywhere? Do I have to launch this first? Click the Q button. Now load the S-18. I did that, and three F-18s. Oh. Well, I'm going to die. I need three of them. Oh, now I can launch it. Okay, so I, I was right. It just... Okay. Did we get it or not? I can't tell. I think we did. There's three. Okay, we barely made it. Whoa. All right, we'll get out of the way. Happy? All right, fast forward. Okay then. All right, all right, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Er, 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 er. All right, we got it. <sighs> Complete. All right, special forces ground attack amphibious operations. It's the final stage of the flight and deck certification exercises, Commander, and the focus will be on land enemies. Is that green, maybe? Yep. Uh-huh. The threat is unknown, which means you need to launch a special forces team. Okay. Select the ground target. Uh-huh. So I need to queue up one of these things. Uh, special, all right. I will launch it in a second. All right, fast forward time. All right, we're good. Launch. Land targets are the most deadly enemies the carrier faces, so it's vital that you prioritize these missions. One hit from a land enemy could sink your carrier. That's wonderful. The threat has been revealed as an enemy coastal battery. Select the threat and cue the mission. Select an aircraft, open the action menu, and select the anti-ground, which is the... Okay, green. All right, so this one... Q. I was just curious to see what that was. Okay. Another ground that really? Fine. One's down. Um. Oh. Two.
AMP, all right, continue. Chinook. Ready for landing. Good to go. All right. Bam! You've done it, Commander. You've defeated both of the land enemies. This concludes your training. Congratulations. You are now fully certified. That's that's up for debate. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to guess that, again, you've got a bunch of missions here, South Pacific, South Atlantic, Mediterranean, and I'm assuming that they increase in difficulty as you go. I'm assuming survival is just as, as long as you can hold out, and quick game is what? In a quick game, enemies will assault your carry over time. Missions will be queued from time to time, and malfunctions will occur. Okay. So what's the difference between them? This is survival. Your fate is sealed. You will fail. How long can you last? Enemies will assault your carry over time. Missions will be queued from time to time. And malfunctions will occur. Okay, so it's, they're somewhat the same for the most part. Except that survival seems to be never ending. So there you go. That is Carrier Deck. Uh, if you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.